Hey, good afternoon, Augusta Nation. It's a little bit before three o'clock here in Augusta, Georgia, and we actually had we had about seven estimates today. Um, no, I hadn't hadn't been on in a little while. hadn't had a video, but just want to get on here and give a little bit of an update. So this morning we. You know, budget hours are low here. It's the uh, December, January, and February. That's the lowest uh, budgeted hours that we that we have. We don't have any snow, and so we had our Monday morning meeting, and we actually rehomed a uh, we rehomed a dog that I found over the weekend. So that was good. Matthew uh, now has a dog, and so that is good news. Dog got a nice home, and. So we had today, uh, I think one of our team members, Connor, he stayed in the shop with Jeremy, uh, working on some trailers, doing some things around the shop. And then one of our team members, uh, Gabe, he came with me today, got to see uh, how estimates are done. We had a couple leaf cleanups, some mulch, uh, a couple different things. And so he got to do a video, estimate video uh, for a leaf cleanup showed them how we uh, do the notes and how we do pricing and things like that so that's always cool when you can take somebody that's in the field show them another aspect of the work I think you really enjoyed it and I did too so um, it, was a, it was a really good day and um, we I think uh, I was leaving most of the guys were coming back so uh, I don't know about y'all but this time of year uh, particularly I think December in general um, there's just something about it uh, I love Christmas and everything that's nice uh, but I start you know obviously thinking about what we're doing next year think about reflecting on what we did this year and you know we had our had our Christmas party uh, we had that on Tuesday of last week and it was the the most we've ever done as far as as a team it was really cool we um, met at the office at lunch at noon. We went over November's P&Ls, the year to date, um, and our plan for next year for growth. Just a, it's kind of like an over year, uh, I'm sorry, an uh, overview of what we're doing, what uh, resources we're going to have, any purchases we're going to make, and our revenue goals and our profit goals. So... We did that, we had pizza, and then we went and played kickball for a couple hours. Um, Jeremy was a captain, I was a captain, and we each had um, five team members. And so, they whipped our butt the first game, and then uh, we regrouped, and we ended up winning the second game. So, we were tied, and uh, I think everybody was super sore, and we're looking forward to a rematch uh, as well. Um, we did that. I went home, um, got ready, and we, um, a guy I had met at the gym, he runs a distillery for a local company here, um, Dirty Girl Mar uh, Dirty Girl Margarita, and, uh, or Dirty Girl Mixers, and Second City Distillery. They got, um, whiskey and things like that they, they make in a really cool location in downtown Augusta. So, right there by the river, um, really cool little spot and they have places where they rent out so we we rented that place out uh, for our party and we had a local barbecue place cater it and then we did a white elephant Christmas gift exchange um, so that was super fun got to bond with the guys all day uh, enjoy uh, dinner with them um, that was super fun and uh, really really enjoyed it I think years past we had done like a, uh, a Mexican uh, restaurant dinner, and nothing wrong with that, but that this year was super cool. Don't know if we'll continue to do it, uh, because this is also the first quarter that we've done profit sharing, so we've had open book uh, management uh, for two years, but now that uh, the team actually will get uh, profit share from it, we'll see if it gets, uh, you know, a party like that gets voted out, if they value it enough to keep it. So I think it ended up costing about, about $1,650, $1,700. Uh, 
uh, for the food and the, the venue and things like that. Uh, but it was it was really fun. So that's some of the updates. Um, another uh, thing that we've, as far as for our November uh, P&L and our projections for next year, one thing that's changed and has changed since I had the coaching call with Lee. Beginning of the year, I think I, I think I actually had a video of our projected purchases, what we were going to focus on for growth, um, and our revenue projections. And I want to say the first video, or at least I know the first whiteboard. Not sure if I did a video. It was like uh, seventy thousand dollars in purchases. Might even been upwards of eighty. It was focusing on. So we got the North Augusta location. That's a, an actual territory, uh, South Carolina. Uh, Matthew's heading up. We had that. We're still doing that. And then we had this one territory in our, our one service area inside of our territory. It's called Hepsiba. And I know I've talked about it in videos. We were going to make it its own territory uh, in a year or two. And we were going to focus on growing it this year. And then 2000, at the end of 2023, go ahead and purchase the, the, the franchise license. Um, and then that that plan got whittled down a little bit as far as being a little more conservative, not buying as much. And I don't know what it was. Uh, I'm usually like uh, like so growth consumed, uh, which you know if you watch Mike Andy's and you pay attention to what he talks about, some people he says grow, some people he says you need to turn your profit knob on. It all depends on what part of the business, what, uh, where you're at in your business. So we're at a stage that it makes much more sense to turn the profit knob on fully and, and really try to see how much profit we can get at the end of the year. So not so much focus on top line growth, but focus on what is remaining uh, at the end of the year. So North Augusta, you know, we already had, as far as resources are, are concerned, we already got the truck. Um, we've already got uh, about $100,000 in revenue as far as a customer base. So we're not really spending a whole lot of money. We're going to do about, we're, gonna, well, we're about to make the purchase for the franchise license. So we got $15,000 there, make that this week. And then we'll spend up to $15,000 in marketing. Don't think we'll need it. I think we'll probably need about 10. So that's all we're going to spend and then we're not buying any more trucks we replaced one truck that died uh but we're not growing anything in the augusta territory we're selling the hepsiba service area not going to go out there because it's about 20 minutes away from our shop and then another small service area uh, that we uh maintain and service we're eliminating uh is another one that's in a different direction about 25 30 minutes away not going to service that and we are going to focus on extreme profit and it's going to be super important i'll make another in-depth video but those are some of the changes went from you know the beginning thinking like, yeah we're going to spend 70 or 80 we're going to grow north augusta going to grow hepsipa and grow augusta by a little bit and realizing that this time in the business we're a little i wouldn't say cash strapped but it makes much more sense um, to pay a little bit in taxes on the profit we made this year than it does to make purchases for growth because we'll end up with more money at the end of next year by optimizing for profit than deciding to grow uh, so and that is that's going to be super important for us because we are um, you know, we've got this general manager program that anybody that's interested in our on our team can uh, sign up for they're getting training monthly uh, for what they need to do to become a general manager and I said we're gonna open up two locations at the end of we're gonna or we're gonna name the general managers that made it uh, November 1st of 2023 and we were going to start those locations in 2024. And I, uh, more important than profit uh, is me making good on my word. And so we have to profit this year in order. Profit, uh, and I'll show you the projections, but I think it's about 185000 is was our goal. That's a 15% uh, 
margin on uh, the Augusta revenue goal and a, and a 10% on North Augusta. So we've got to hit that so that we can make good on the word and have those two locations for the people that have earned them. So that was some of the changes, some of what we got going on. Uh, and I've also, uh, we're almost done with my landscape. Uh, so I was, it's been seven years since I had grass in my backyard because we started the business in my backyard, just moved out of there two years ago. And uh, yeah, so we did some sod, we did some rock, we did a little fire pit and going to fix my, fix my fence and my gate. So very excited about that. And I'll, I'll post some uh, pictures and some videos as well. I uh, hope everybody's having an amazing end of the year and is reflecting and thinking about what they're going to do for next year. I look forward to seeing everybody at conference and I also look forward to making more frequent videos again. So thank you all for, for watching. Thank you for joining me on my estimator trail. Um, headed home and the next couple days I'm probably going to take a little bit of time off uh, just so that I can do some reflecting and uh, spend some time um, thinking about next year. So until next time, hope you have a great day. Go out there and get after it.